Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to episode 4 of my life of a legionary let's play. We are diving back in and things are going pretty well. We unfortunately last episode did lose the uh, port of Ancona as well as the settlement to the Germanians. The settlement then did rebel which I guess is better that it's not in the Germanian hands and is now in ours or I guess a Roman vassal. I'm sure someone we're going to conquer in the near future. We also fought some insane battles last episode so if you guys haven't seen that episode go back and watch it because i think there was like six engagements all pretty big and the, the final one was like a four thousand man battle so yeah it was pretty huge however the war is now over and we can continue on to uh, level up defeat enemies and continue to prove ourselves a worthy leader as we dive in, and if you guys haven't seen this series before, this is the first episode you're watching, we are basically using the new Eagle Rising update with the Europe map as well as serve as a soldier. So we are just a simple cog in the Roman machine. We have no control over the greater movements of the armies, and we are simply just here defending, leveling up. And we're actually in a pretty good spot right now. We are... I think we are an Optio now. Yeah, we're an Optio now. So we're actually able to start commanding soldiers, leveling up our other stats, which is really, really nice. Uh, and we're closing in on Centurion, I believe, at the next rank. <clears throat> Yeah, at the next rank, we actually get access to a small little, I guess, cohort of my own. It's like six or seven soldiers that we'll be able to lead around. We'll also have the opportunity to lead other soldiers in the army on top of that, which is going to be awesome, right? We'll start having more control, being able to do little infiltration missions and everything else along them lines, which, yeah, it's going to be really good. So if you guys are enjoying this series and you want to go and see more, make sure to go drop a like and a comment down below. As I said, it really does help out massively. Every like, every comment, I really enjoy reading them. Everything you guys have to say, all the tips, the advice, and just everything else. So yeah, keep it up and hopefully we'll continue on to have a really fun series because eventually we are going to go independent ourselves. And that basically means that we're going to be uh, leading soldiers into battle in a pretty brutal way uh, and hopefully starting to take settlements and conquering lands and defeating the Tenders to the Roman throne. Oh, something I forgot to do as well this episode is I've forgotten to turn back my RBM settings. So a lot of these weapons aren't going to be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, this battle is going to go on for a while, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll have to obviously back up the kills against this peasant rebellion. Because, yeah, whenever I play Realm of Thrones, they don't actually have the, uh, the troop module on. Whereas Eagle Rising now does. Uh, which means all the weapons and stuff are very, very different. Normally you have the AI combat module on for both. But, yeah, it's uh, definitely going to affect battles but i mean still the roman line is holding hopefully oh yeah and finally uh again if you guys have any good tech advice for me i'm still having massive issues with uh with bannerlord and my overall game my system um basically i think i've narrowed it down to when the game auto saves uh yeah when the game when, when the game just saves in general there's like a, a chance that my computer just completely shuts itself off uh from like yeah it just literally turns itself off and restarts which is obviously really weird, right? Like, that's a very weird thing to happen. Um, and I, I don't really know the cause of it, because it's just very weird. But it's not just the game shutting down. It's my entire PC. So I've moved it over to my other hard drive. We'll see if that helps it out at all. And maybe it was a hardware issue, a hard drive issue. I don't know. But if anyone's experienced that before, please let Back to killing these brutal, brutal peasants who have risen up against us. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing is that this is quite good for, like, experience game. You gain some decent stats with this. The downside is we don't really gain much in the way of... Uh, in the, yeah, we don't really gain much in the way of experience in the Legion because these guys are all low tier and they're, they're basically worth like very little experience. So getting to the next level is going to take us a little longer uh, than maybe we would have liked. However, because I haven't got the RBM settings on properly, uh, they're doing like no damage to us and we are slowly grinding them away. I imagine they'll eventually retreat from the battle. My god, this is taking a while. I mean, we are breaking through them bit by bit, but there's a lot of them. And normally a lot of these hits would just be one-shotting the enemy because... Of course, they're in no armor at all. They have no helmets on, so you basically just get like a critical hit with the, the weak points of RBM. But this time around, they're, they're, they're a little bit stronger. It takes about four hits to take them down, unless you get like a good, a nice like, kind of hit underneath their armor, or what little armor they actually have. But yeah, we are clearing them up now, which is good. We're pushing them back and finishing them off. And obviously, I'll make sure I make the change for the next battle. There we go. Fleeing from us this day. You love to see it. 
setting them back. Gain a bit of renown from that as well. But also, look at them stats. We managed to rack up a lot of damage. 8 athleticism and 10 one-handed. That's going to really boost our overall uh, feeling and our overall stats. Let's drop a save really quickly. Look at that. We actually did get a surprisingly large amount of experience from that. I'm actually happy with that. Let's quickly uh, do our level up. So what's for next upgrade? We have 20 damage whilst wielding a weapon without a shield. That's not going to happen. And just a bit more hit points and more experience um, after every battle. Yeah, I mean, better experience is always good, right? And that is party leader. I mean, right now, it doesn't matter because we're not the party leader, but that's going to matter when we do get stuck in. And then also, less charge damage uh, and less damage, less charge damage in formation, or we want more damage with speed? Yeah, the speed. 30% damage bonus from speed. I mean, that's not really going to affect us, right? So we'll just do... We'll be more resistance against cavalry, which I guess is a pretty decent thing. I think now as well that we are an Optio or an Optii, however you pronounce it. I think now is a good time to maybe start drilling the soldiers. I think that'd be a good idea to start. Yeah, I mean, we'll pay a little bit of money to bribe our commander. Uh, and yeah, now we'll be gaining daily leadership. And we'll also, the most important thing is, we'll be upgrading the soldiers that we're fighting. So these 192 men will be getting an additional daily experience boost to them so chances are they'll be much better uh, going forward which i think is obviously really important because the the be better our soldiers are the stronger we're going to be and look at that we've got eight leadership points in that first little engagement that's amazing so i'm hoping by the time that we actually do start the next war whether it's against carthage or the romans the dacians the germanians whoever it is we're going to have a much stronger army at least with these 200 brave men and obviously on the plus side as well, we gain some good leadership experience because we're closing in. You know, I think it's like tier 7 or tier 8 that when you get given a settlement and you get to go independent, like... That's pretty nice. So, again, we're just kind of slowly waiting for that to happen uh, and obviously building up our own soldiers. Here we go. Another war now, and we are back at war with the Germanians in winter, though, which is not going to be the best uh, plan of action, I don't think. Uh, but cool, back with the Germanians. I mean, they were a pretty, like, hard foe to break. So we'll see if we'll be able to defeat them and get on the, the front foot this time. I also love the snow as well. 1.8 adding, sorry, 1.2.8 adding in this new snow. And obviously, Lemmy implementing it in his Europe map looks awesome, right? Going across the Alps in the in the snow and stuff. Uh, yeah, it looks really, really cool. I don't know why we're positioned here, though, with our 280 or whatever so men. Uh, that's not going to be good. Oh, nice, we've been promoted. Nice. Yes, we've been promoted. So what can we actually be now? Let's have a look. Yeah, so we were an Opti. Uh, now we can be a Centurion and also, what, a Pillar Prior? I don't know if, what rank that is. We can also be basically anything uh, we want to be. Uh, cool. Or we could be a proper Cavalryman as well. Vexillum. Legionary Cav. Oh my god, look at these as well, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to spend this episode as a Centurion. And then I think next episode, what we might do is we might go ahead and join the Cavalry for an episode. I think that'd be really fun, right? To actually go ahead and uh, and fight alongside a completely different role just to keep things interesting. Let me know in the comments if that's something you guys want to see. And if we get enough likes on it, then yeah, we'll join the Cavalry and uh, we'll see what they're made of. Oh god, yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. So there's Don't Go. Oh, don't. Oh, thank god they didn't trap us. They could have easily have just trapped us there. Oh, that was lucky. I thought they were going to retreat into this and that army was going to follow us. Oh, this could be a nice little battle to engage. Yeah, cool. This is a good battle for us. We can basically stop the Germanic reinforcements from arriving and we can focus in on just kind of holding this pass. We're going to probably have to retreat back to Rome anyway and defend our Alp settlement. But this is a really good position for us. Oh, and also now I'm a Centurion. I actually get to command part of the army. Oh, this is awesome. So the infantry are now under my command, man. Uh, it's situations like this that you just... Soldier! Look at that. We get to command the infantry. Awesome. Awesome. If I do give them over to the AI, does the AI split them up? Because I wouldn't mind having multiple flanks and just commanding one of those, like commanding the center. So let's see if the AI Sergeant does do that. Me, or are they just going to completely... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. If I split up the infantry, I want to. So we'll take... Yeah, we'll take back command of the infantry. And out of interest, if I was to uh, to go ahead and split them up and transfer them over to a different squad. So if I was to give these guys... I don't know, transfer 40 men. Infantry. Yeah, and then the AI does take command of them, Infantry. right? Doesn't merge them back in. So that could be something interesting to do to kind of just command a cohort of soldiers rather than anything else. Uh, yeah, nice. All right, let's just push forward then. I'm going to let them 38 kind of do their thing. I'm not sure where they'll be going. But yeah, we'll push forward. They have... Okay, so they've, they've got a big flank. They've got a decent amount of archers. Was that 115 archers, I think? Hopefully, that's not a seven. It looks like a one. Uh, so, yeah, 115 archers and then a bunch of infantry. Our cavalry's already engaging them, and we have a pretty large-scale cavalry advantage. Okay, cool. So, what we'll do is we'll hold here. I want a bit of a longer line. 
uh, like then the Germanic Move. battle line. So I want to stretch further, and then that way we can outflank them. I mean, honestly, we should maybe just like hold the line here. I mean, I want obviously a big shield wall as well, okay? We're going to form a shield wall. We're going to let them. I'm gonna, everyone's going to hold fire. I want a few, yeah, maybe a few peel them out. Okay, form that shield wall. Form that shield wall, but again, remember, I want you guys long. I do not want a dense shield wall because I don't want to be outflanked. We'll let them get really close, okay? Reform up. There's that little, little squad going as well. Okay, so they're just going to suicide. That's fine. Let them. Okay, they're close enough now. Volley back, boys. Give them hell. Give them hell. Volley back. Get out of shield wall and volley back. Oh, yeah. Okay, this should be a good amount of damage on them. Okay, we've got a small squadron going in. Okay, they're outflanking us now. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift our entire infantry over to the left. We're going to curve in. Yeah, the javelins are going in as well, which are great. Keep on throwing. And we're going to reinforce this, this section of the battlefield, okay? Kill, obviously, any of their, their cab that we can. Okay, now we're going to push in here. And we're going to charge in. And we're going to completely wipe out this left flank. Oh, they're coming in on my left flank, though, as well. Okay, maybe we just rotate a little bit, like so. Yeah, rotate a bit more, okay? Because I don't want to be outflanked myself. Let's do that. So they are coming in on my flank, which is fine. Okay, now we just charge. Now we push on them. Because the AI isn't, uh, isn't like, fully... Okay, let's get him before he gets up. Because the AI is putting their, their army up, it does make my life a little bit harder. Because we're, about, we're about to be outflanked. But, okay, I need to get over here then. Whatever, we'll boys, keep on pushing here. But we... Oh, kill that cab if we can. We need to deal with what's going to come in on our flank. So maybe we, maybe we switch formation and we change to a square. Or maybe I can just come over here and help out. Like, there's a lot of them here. But if we start striking, a lot of these Germanian barbarians don't have helmets. The javelins will run out. Kill the cav. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, keep up in battle, boys. Yeah, I mean, this, this flank has already crumbled and we've kind of already start, kind of plugged the gap. It's a real shame I can't personally, like, break off some soldiers to, to command them another formation. That'd be really cool. Shield bash that guy back. Thank you, good soldier. Nice. Yeah, okay. I think we've got this under our control now. And the army's pretty leveled up. We have lost a lot of men. That was maybe a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a weak showing of my first command. Is that... Bar that barbarian is part of our ranks, I guess... It's not as crazy to have barbarians in our ranks, you know. They're showing us the ways in Germanic lands. A little less crazy. Oh, that brave soldier's gone deep in enemy ranks. Pull back, let's pull back, let's pull back. Oh my god, they're really coming round this flank as well. Cav's coming in, though, now. Nice. Cav, Cav will save the day. And I think we've got, yeah, the front line. Good job. Keep on pushing now. Yeah, kill the horses if we can. Throw this peeler in one of their backs. Oh, I missed. No. We don't have any more peeler either. We have two swords by the looks of it as well. Yeah, okay. The infantry's running. Let's reform. Yeah, infantry's running. So let's reform. Obviously, the cav is still a bit of an issue. If we can get him. Nice. Got him off his horse now. Finishing, boys. Light cav's not going to stand up. Uh, and I guess we just push the archers now. Our cavalry's done a great job at killing their archers. They had 100 or whatever archers. And there's only 20 of them left. Good job, boys. Yeah, I mean, what's, what's it? There you go. They, they flee from us. They flee. Nice. Good job, boys. Good job, good job, good job. And that's not a bad, that's not a bad. Like, we didn't do the best. Like, us kind of trying to reform and trying to split soldiers didn't quite work. But, hey, 16 kills. Only, what, 50, 40? Yeah, 65 men died. 50 wounded. Oh, we'll take that. We'll take that. Guys, that was a good first battle, I think. And we were able to absolutely smash them. I mean, our army now is not in the best situation i will say that because oh there's 200 of us left now um you know we need to get back to friendly territory we need to rebuild up the army i'm interested to see where that 700 man army went right because that, that army was around here somewhere the army was around here somewhere and now it's uh oh is that it Are they heading down to patavia maybe no okay let's just step raiders we are getting reinforced as well i think yeah we're just we're building up more men i'm interested to know where it went you know Oh, the siege. Oh, the barbarians went to siege Ancona, maybe. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully, they do take it, and we can take it back. I think we're more likely to then uh, attack them than anything else. So yeah, they were successful there. They did. They were able to take back the settlement from the rebels, uh, which again, as I said, is good. Hopefully, we now go over there and we try and claim it before it does rebel. The army that we were a part of did break apart, but now we're heading 
uh, I guess, back into the Alps or I guess actually hitting some caravans, which we're not going to be a part of. There's no need for us to really get involved in this. Um, yeah, there's no need for us to get involved in a, in a simple caravan matter. We are a centurion and I'll leave my cohort back at home. Uh, yeah, looks like we're going back to raid poor Romans who have been taken over and are begging for help. And yet, oh, I, I don't want to be a part of this either. They're begging for help. Okay, we need to be careful. Because we are disorganized. Oh, we're lucky we didn't get caught there. We're very lucky. God, I can't believe how close they are to Rome as well. Like, literally so close. God, do they just leave these poor civilians alone? We're back here again to, to slaughter them. I, again, I will have no part in killing Bray. Oh my god, they're back here again. Just think of the children. Oh, nice. We have been able to engage one of the smaller parties. Now, this is one that we will go ahead and take part in. So, yeah, because this is, yeah, only 50 men, but so then we can obviously prove ourselves. Oh, I forgot to. I thought it would automatically put me in command of the infantry. Okay, we are just a lone operative this time. But yeah, we're going to rip through these 50 or so barbarians. How dare they soil the Adriatic. Okay, the cavalry is about to come flying in their flank. Oh, we got, we lost a lot of soldiers on that charge. We really did. But the rest of the boys are now here. So we should now be able to help clear this up. We'll get a few javelins off, try and break a few shields. Uh, and again, obviously make sure that we don't get hit there. Nice, some good damage there. Pull out the Gladius now. There's only, what, 50 of them here? Probably not even that many, so we should make very light work of these uh, these soldiers. And man, I just can't wait until we are commanding our own army. And we get to actually do proper tactics, and I can, like... I can, like, have multiple formations, and, like, advance them in certain ways. We're going to do some really fun stuff. Definitely going to try our best to... Uh, definitely going to try our best to... So, uh, I like actually reenact a lot of the Roman formations and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, no. Now, now we're not talking. I was going to say, we're actually going to have to take this back. We're sieging it. But there was a 500-man army that just ran past us. Hopefully, they go chasing that army and we can get this siege off. Now, they're going to come back, I think, for sure. We need reinforcements. There's 500 of them. I guess maybe the army is too good in quality. Uh, and yeah, okay, but they don't want the smoke. Oh, my God. This is so close. I feel, like, I feel like the balance of power bar between us and that army are like neck and neck and they could, if they wanted to, come and take us out at any moment. This is good though. If we can launch an attack, granted they have 250 defenders, but I think with enough men here, we could easily take it. Hopefully we get to that siege and we, we do. Okay, this is awesome. We're going to take back proper Roman land. All right, let's do this then. Let's do this. Uh, I will be leading the boys into the abyss um, and hopefully... Uh, getting some good kills. Oh, I love this map as well. Yeah, this is one of the newer Tale Worlds maps where they kind of go for a bit big of the bigger like bastions that pour out of the settlement. I think that looks really cool. Okay, I mean, let's uh, what what line do we want to defend? So yeah, let's go for Siege Tower. We'll go fight with the boys of the Siege Tower. Yeah, Infantry. where are our boys? Are our boys over there? No, our boys are here. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, let's push up with them. Oh no, our Siege Tower broke. Okay, all right, boys, just forward then. Uh, I guess we'll try and go over to the other. I mean, what we want to do is get to the gate as quickly as possible, I guess. So we get out of range of the artillery. So yeah, forward, forward, forward. We, of course, want to avoid as much of the incoming missile fire as possible. I mean, realistically, we just want to get onto the walls. If we get onto the walls, we'll cut them to pieces for sure. So just push up, push up, push up. And I guess I guess we'll go through the gate and just make a big push with the other section of like 100 men. I just want to get out of the, like, the arc of this artillery piece. Then we can form like a testudo underneath the, uh, the walls themselves. It's so annoying we can't like steal, uh, like put up ladders and stuff. It really is. Oh, everybody should hold fire as well, for sure. Okay, form a, form a test judo now. Let's form a test judo. Help us from incoming missiles. The artillery shouldn't be able to hit us. And then, yeah, nice. Some of the boys are already hitting away. I love to see that. Just make the, uh, the breach a little bit easier. There's no one over there. Oh, here we go. Who does this guy think he is? Let's oh, how did that not hit him? Okay, what about this one? There we go. Yeah, send him back. He's going to come back for more? God, I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Look at all the Pelham as well. That's why I'm telling my boys to hold fire. Oh my god, they also broke They broke every single piece of siege equipment that we have. So literally the only way through is just to grind away at this gate. Man. They've got some good engineers inside of this settlement, that's for sure. I mean, it's taken us a while, but we are getting through it bit by bit. Bit by bit. We're losing a lot of men, but I feel like as soon as we're just through, then we're gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna rip them apart. Tell my boys to attack. Maybe we can get more models in here if I tell some boys to attack as well. Obviously, we have these archers here as well hitting us, but that's fine. Yeah. 
Again, we're just going to... We're halfway through the gate. We're going to continue to lose men, but let's just keep on hitting. The weaker it gets, the quicker it'll go down. And then, yes, yeah, straight through the gate. Okay, the gate after about 10 minutes is finally about to go down. My finger literally hurts from clicking so much, but we're about to break through. Uh, it's going to be glorious. Okay, now this gate should go down much quicker now. Okay, this gate should be yeah, a, a drop in the bucket for how long it took the last one. All right, through we go, boys. In, 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 in. Push, 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 push. Let's go. Okay, we need to obviously just open up the, uh, the, the combat whip, get as many men in there as possible. I'd love to be leading the men, but... Can't get myself in there enough. Yeah, they, they, don't, they just do not have enough soldiers here. So let's just tell my 100 to get in here uh, and start pushing in. Yeah, we can break away any barbarians, any traitorous Romans who have been forced to uh, to support them in this endeavor. Yeah, nice. It's him down. Let's get my men. I want to bring my men like out here if I can. Just so that we open up and we allow more soldiers in. This is the way to do it. Yeah, bring as many of my men out more. And now we can charge. So they can start spilling out. Going to take the battlements. And yeah, now the settlement has been taken. These barricades are not going to stop them. And nice. That was a pretty anticlimactic siege. Mainly because it took us so long to get through that gate. And then once we were in, the settlement was lost. They didn't really have much counterpunch. They didn't have the archers. They didn't have the artillery. To I mean, they had the artillery. They just couldn't use it when we were close enough to the walls, I guess. Okay, let's make sure we clear off these guys as well. I mean, hopefully my, my men will be on their way as well. Uh, but yeah, they'll go down quickly. That guy's even taking a peel them. And then a, a bit of Gladius hit to the stomach. That's pretty, pretty tanky. He's got an iron gut, that is for sure. Nice. That, 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 whoever threw that peel them saved my life there. I'll respect you forever. I think it was this Dacian warrior. Maybe I won't. Okay, just clearing out the last tower now. I think that's basically all of them. I mean, again, every kill we get is nice also. Like, every every couple kills. We've got 17 in that engagement. I'll take back some good upgrades as well. But yeah, nice. We've taken back this Roman settlement from the Germanians. Okay, boom. Uh, I wonder, yeah, we're not we're not sacking it or anything else along them lines, I don't think. So that's always a positive. Uh, and now, yeah, boom. Cool. Uh, and then he wants me to re-enlist, which we definitely will do. I don't want to retire yet. I want to keep on fighting for him. Uh, so yeah, we will, of course, re-enlist because we're close to getting our pension, our bit of land and a pension. And there are still more soldiers out here. Yeah. Are they, they're just going to sail? Yeah, they're just going to set sail. Okay. They're going to fall back to what? Patavium. I mean, good thing as well. We only have 280 men. Yeah. We're going to go back to Rome. Uh, we are about to lose a castle in the north, but yeah, we're going to lose that castle for a while, I think. As long as we have, you know, Roman settlements, that's going to really help the economy once again. So that's what it's all about. One thing I've actually always wondered as well with serve as a soldier is it, because we're gaining daily experience to troops in parties, does that include the army? Like, are they technically part of the party in this situation? Are we ranking everybody up? Yeah, I actually don't know. Oh, we just hit 50 leadership as well. I think, is 50 leadership a good one? Or is that the next? No, it's the next one. Yeah, the extra five party size is what we're looking for so we'll always take the extra stout defender i always say this you generally are always if you're attacking in a good situation so you always want to be the defender you want the extra morale for sure and okay the army's gonna break apart uh which again is okay i would imagine yeah we have lost that castle now so one thing i might do now um after we kill this uh this little caravan is i might ask for leave and go build a workshop because we have 72 grand now so yeah, let's actually do that. Let's ask the commander for leave, which we get perfectly. Let's remember who it is as well. So it is Sisanas, Sisanas, Mazaga. Yeah, that one. Cool. So we're gonna head up here, and I guess um, in Starlia, Starlia looks pretty well defended, right? It's covered by castles, and it's what you know got a pretty good defensive line so yeah let's maybe look to build a work okay so right now they have a wood a pottery and a silversmith so we also have clay here as well so ideally we want to buy the pottery yeah the pottery shop was probably what we want to get out of interest how much does clay sells yeah ultra cheap here walls pretty cheap as well uh is there anything else that we have a lot of yeah so if we could buy two maybe what we do is so you have a carpenter who has does it, do you have the pottery shop no it's you okay how much for 23 grand sold done boom and then i might buy the other one uh and make it into a wool weaver um so what what do you have you have the wood workshop uh we could buy that oh we, we kind of okay we're only clan rank ones we can only have one okay interesting so what i'll do is i will buy basically all of this clay yeah, I'll buy all of this clay and I'll stick it into my workout, into my workshop. Um, because it's so cheap, right? Oh, it's over our capacity? Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll stick it. We'll, we'll stick max capacity. That, that should last them until I, I literally become a lord of the of the kingdom. Okay. And now what we can do is we can get input from the, the workhouse. Uh, sorry, from the warehouse. So that's going to basically take the clay I've just put into the warehouse. And it's going to start producing. Um, yeah, it's going to start producing. And then store. So when the warehouse is, is full, the workshop will sell its products to the town. Yeah, that's what we want, right? So store output in warehouse at 100%. Does that mean when it's at 100% it will sell? Yeah. I think that'd be good because it'd be... Not, uh, or we just make it... I mean, we just actually sell it right away. Let them just make some money. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we're also so far off the next rank as well. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, we got all the clay now as well. I could make my way down to Rome. Like, what are the chances that Rome has a lot of clay? We could maybe make our way down there and sell. It's going to take us a while, but I'm a centurion. I should be fine. I'm going to pick up a couple guards, you know? I'll pick up a couple brave men to help me carry this load as well as protect me from any bandits on the road, you know? Two loyal men is all I need. It's definitely a long trek, but we're about to do it. Finally, we're, we're going to get here. Cool. Awesome. Uh, okay, let's see. So we bought it for two. Yeah, it sells for so much. Even if I just sell all of it, right? Yeah, even if I just sell all of it, it's a massive profit. Um, I mean, it's not a massive profit, but we gained 17 trade skill from that, considering we have no points in trade at all. So I take that as a win. Okay, cool. And then we found our lord again as well. So let's return to him. Let's, uh, yeah, how are you going, my friend? I want to rejoin up with the army. I am back from my, uh, my little excursion. And let's head back out. I mean, we're still at war, right? Yeah, we're still at war with the Germanians. They're currently besieging Batavium. But I think that is where we're going to wrap up this episode today. It'll be about 40 minutes. I think 30 to 40 minutes which is where I want to keep these episode lengths. And we've got some really good battles. Though. We've got that good siege. We've got a couple good land battles. And then hopefully, hopefully next episode, we're going to be playing as a cavalry and getting stuck into some really, really big ones. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, drop a like, drop a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.